गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर इन अगस्त वेन द फूड मिनिस्टर स्पोक ऑन द फूड डिबेट ही अंडरलाइंड द नेसेसिटी फॉर ए क्लियर डेमरकेशन बिटवीन द फंक्शंस ऑफ द यूनियन फूड मिनिस्ट्री एंड द फूड डिपार्टमेंट्स इन द स्टेट्स ही सेट दैट ही वुड कन्फाइन एज फार एज पॉसिबल टू द फंक्शंस ऑफ द यूनियन फूड मिनिस्ट्री टू डिस्चार्ज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज लेट अपॉन द मिनिस्ट्री बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ एज फार एज I could read the constitution one of the most important responsibilities of the union food ministry is that it should see that the price of food grains does not fluctuate violently from time to time and from place to place it was also to see that within the resources available and within the food stocks available the prices are stabilized as far as possible in this particular function the union food ministry has so far not been successful prices are fluctuating for no apparent reason from time to time and from place to place and prices fluctuate in the deficit areas as well as in the surplus areas prices fluctuate during a period when we have a bumper crop as well as during a period when there is a deficit in production so we have not been able to evolve any formula or machinery whereby it would be possible to control prices we are told sir that last year we had a bumper crop but in spite of the bumper crop what do we find in spite of a bumper crop prices continue to fluctuate and it is a matter for concern since 1981 prices have a tendency i am talking about food prices to harden at higher and higher levels during scarcity periods prices rise come down a bit shoot up again still further and then stabilize at a higher level and in that way from year to year the stabilized price is something higher than that of a previous year this being the situation it requires some consideration as to how we are going to meet that situation i was trying very hard to hear what the food minister had to say but i did not find a single suggestion in the entire speech about the manner in which the food ministry intended to tackle this problem we have been told that the wholesale trading in food grains by the state was a means to an end sir the food minister the other day rightly pointed out that ultimately it is the production which is the key to the solution 
of the food problem. He also pointed out that mere exhortation of farmers to produce more is not going to have any effect and that we will have to give them economic incentives in order that it may be possible and advantageous for them to produce more. As far as economic incentives are concerned, he said that he was thinking of establishing a statutory committee to go into the question of food prices. Now, sir, all these facts are there, but is it the contention of the government that it is merely the question of prices which keep down the production of food grains or is it that there are other remedial measures which should be taken in order that it may be possible for the farmer to produce more. Honorable Dr. Kunjuru has already pointed out that increased food production can take place only when there are increased irrigation facilities, enough manure and good seeds in each one of these items, we are lagging behind. Even the little irrigation facilities that are available are not being fully utilized for one reason or another. Argument goes on, but the fact remains that water mint for irrigation is not being utilized. It is impounded for no purpose whatsoever. What are you going to do? Are you going to continuously argue about what is right and what is wrong? Or are you going to take some positive steps to see that all the irrigation facilities that are available are fully utilized and more facilities are created. The same is the case with reference to manure. We have been told that there is not enough manure and that the food ministry is arguing with the finance ministry for more foreign exchange to be made available so that more manure could be produced and so on. Again, arguments go on, papers move from ministry to ministry, but as far as the question of demand and supply of manure is concerned, I have got figures with me which shows that not even 50% of the demand for manure is supplied today. What are you going to do about that? These are problems as far as production is concerned, but to my mind, the still more important problem is the problem of organization in the rural areas. As long as these fragmented holdings remain, it will not be possible for the farmers to take the advantage of the facilities, the system of service, cooperatives is the sheet anchor of the Congress policy.